the story, there was a white supremacist who allegedly had harassed a black man, and he got tracked down and punched out. So, let's read into this. This is what Raw Story reads. They say, A man who walked around Seattle wearing a Nazi arm armband got punched in the face after he allegedly harassed a black passenger on a bus. BuzzFeed reports that the unidentified Nazi was first spotted riding on a bus where witnesses say he was harassing a black passenger. From there, anti-fascist activists used social media to track the man's whereabouts, and he was eventually spotted on a street corner um, in the downtown area. While there, he got into a confrontation with unidentified people who objected to him walking around uh, wearing a Nazi armband. At one point, one man punched the neo-Nazi directly in the face, which knocked him onto the sidewalk. In an interview with BuzzFeed, one of the anonymous social media users who helped track the Seattle Nazi applauded the identif unidentified man who knocked the Nazi to the ground. Quote, I would say that we successfully identified, tracked, and coordinated to neutralize a clear and present danger to Seattle, said the user. Whether we coordinated the actual punch or not, I, for one, applaud the anonymous hero. So, um, yeah, so, you know... This is not good, okay? This is not good. Uh, it's what I'm going to say. Don't punch Nazis. You, when you... Like, I love the way that Noam Chomsky put this, okay? When you... You have, you know, the ring of ideas is what we consider ourselves to be in, right? It's always the constant battle of ideas, right? I know that sounds cringe because Dave Rubin completely fucking ruined the phrase battle of ideas. But just forget about Dave Rubin here. Just pretend it doesn't exist. So you have the battle of ideas based on facts, evidence, and just logic and reasoning. And then, what you're doing effectively when you punch someone is you're saying, okay, now I'm moving this from facts, arguments, and all this stuff to um, violence. And who wins in the boxing match where, or the in the uh, the fight in the ring of um, the realm being violence? Who's gonna win? It's gonna be the most brutal. It's gonna be the most savage, and it's gonna be the most violent people which is not us we are the very diametrically opposed to that we are the complete opposite of that i think noam chomsky put it um amazingly now also you know him harassing was not okay okay that obviously was not okay but punching the guy because he's wearing a nazi armband come on man why are you punching him you have you can wear whatever the fuck you want um you can have a nazi flag with you while walking around etc etc and all that stuff um, assaulting people based on whatever they're wearing is really not okay, and um, this always goes back and forth. This may, this most likely will not be a popular opinion, um, but I don't give a fuck. Um, this is the truth, and this is what's going to prevail. You want to be um, regarded as the people who are the most moral people, the best people. I just you can't go around fucking punching people who are just wearing some shit. I mean, come on, just don't, don't do it, guys. You're ruining the movement. You're really ruining the movement. Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below. Leave a like and share the video. Help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways. Links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.